Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about the NVIDIA game filter settings. Currently running in the background you'll see some comparisons of the game filter settings on and off. I'm going to show you my settings after these um, screenshots are done scrolling. Before that thank you guys all for all the likes, subscribes, shares that I've been getting. The channel has been growing quite fast and thanks to every one of you who have been supporting. We are going to be coming up with some really big news. So make sure you stick around for that. Again, thank you guys. You've been really kind to me and uh, let's get on with the NVIDIA filter settings after the screenshots are done scrolling so that you know what you are jumping into and whether you want to even try these settings or not. So to bring up the NVIDIA overlay, you press Alt Z and then click on the game filter button here. And here are my settings. These are the only two things that I'm changing and as you can see it makes a world of difference in the way my sim looks. Now you can either copy these settings as it is like I'm showing here or there are high chances that you will have to edit these settings a little bit from what I'm showing here based on your liking and your base monitor settings to make it look exactly like what you're seeing on YouTube in this video. So make sure you are you know tweaking things around a bit the main you know point here is that uh, the base microsoft flight simulator is quite warm and kind of it has this yellowish orangish tinge to it which i don't like at all so what i've mostly done is uh, increase the vibrance lowered the temperature a bit which takes care of that warm tint intensity and all is fine you can just copy it from here and i've adjusted the gamma shadows highlights contrast and exposure to my liking again it's not it's not heavily tweaked i don't want the sim to look like a cartoon it's tweaked just enough to make it look realistic and take away all that warmth that is there by default and in terms of performance you might have probably already seen it while i was shifting from off to one but we are at 45 or some fps right now and if i go to off we are still at around 45 fps so here i am inside the cockpit clocking around 50 fps 51 fps if i turn it off we are still at 51 or 50 fps so yeah let me know if you guys like these settings if you guys don't like these settings if you guys have any other settings that uh, you know you have had really good experience with put them down in the comment section below I will definitely try them out and give you feedback on it so that is it for this video thank you guys for watching thank you for all the recent likes subscribes everything thank you for all the support like I said something really big is coming so please please make sure you stick around on this channel and make sure you hit that subscribe button okay I will see you on the next video